So ladies and gentlemen, we know the history of the Montreal Canadiens with Ken Dryden, and he was always looked at as the cerebral member of the squad. But uh, for a lot of members in the media and a lot of uh, true fans of the NHL 1970s, uh, we know that he was not the only genius on the team during their uh, late 1970s uh, dynasty. Uh, Bill Nyrop, uh, who was probably one of the most highly respected and sought after uh, U.S. Uh, picks in the night, early 1970s because of his strong collegiate play, was uh, a person that gave up the Montreal Canadiens to study law. And although he came back to NHL and the pro leagues later, we all knew that he was going to seek out a career because I think he's, uh, his outlook on uh, athletics were a little bit uh, deeper than his uh, strong uh, results in the, the very sports he uh, played into. Now, uh, William Donald Nyrop, uh, born July 23rd, 1952, uh, was uh, 6'2", 205. Basically, pin can be described as, a, as kind of in the defensive defense on mold that uh, was started by Jacques Perrier and would continue with Rod Langway in the 1970s. Now, uh, 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 where his intelligence came from, he was born in Washington, but his father, Donald Nyrop, was uh, chairman of the U.S. Civil Aeronautics Board under Harry Truman in the 1950s. Now, uh, his father eventually moved the family to Edna, Minnesota, where he, uh, where uh, Donald Nyrop uh, became chairman of the board of Northwest Airlines. So you can see where his cerebral style came from. Uh, he led Northwest Airlines until 1976. Uh, as a boy, uh, Bill attended Ed, 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 Edina High School, uh, where he's an all-star athlete, uh, and he was quarterback for an undefeated football team, and also led his uh, high school hockey team to state title in 1969. Now, upon graduation from high school, he decided to attend a prestigious university in Notre Dame. He tried out for the Notre Dame football team and won a spot as a roster as a backup quarterback. However, he was injured in practice and never played for the team, uh, instead playing hockey during his four years in college. And this is what uh, led to Montreal drafting him 66 overall in 1972. Now, uh, he attended uh, the Habs Pro Training Camp in September 72. And in 73, he was voted to the WCHA First all team uh, and was an NCAA All-American for the West uh, part of the country. Now, the next year, representing the United States in the B-Pool of the Ice Hockey World Championship, where he was named to the tournament all-star team as the best defenseman. Now, uh, he started uh, his career with the Nova Scotia Verdures in 74-75, impressed uh, a lot of people with his stay-at-home style with uh, two goals and 22 assists in 75 games. 75-76, Montreal was uh, in, uh, were getting the benefit of rebuilding year. He played 52 games with the Voyagers, but had 19 uh, games in the regular season for Montreal and 13 games in the playoffs, and he got his name in his first cup. Now, 76-77, he was uh, another strong year on the, the blue line for Montreal in the defensive style. In 74 games, he got three goals and 19 assists. And 77-78, he had five goals and 21 uh, assists for 26 points. Now, um, he also like uh, starred with uh, Team USA at the Canada Cup, and uh, in 1976, where uh, you know the development squad for US had a lot of top talents, he had a goal and assist in five games. Now uh, he also made the All Star team in 1978 in respect to his defensive play, and uh, after winning the third cup, he decided to uh, take a complete. Uh, uh, change of pace uh, he always wanted a law degree and he took uh, time off for the game to study law and eventually decided to come back uh, to pro sports and he, the Montreal Treaties rights to the stars in September, September 1980 and returned the NHL a year later um, uh, playing in 42 regular season games and a couple of games in the playoffs where uh, the squad was upset by Chicago in the first round. He did play for the uh, Conor Hale uh, team in the German League in 82-83, but uh, uh, he uh, passed. He, he retired for good after the end of the season. Now we're talking his law degree. 
after retirement, he uh, went to Gonzaga to uh, wrap up his law degree, and he earned his Juris Doctor in '86. He eventually set up his law practice, but then returned to hockey as the coach of the the very very uh, uh, storied Knoxville Cherokees of the East Coast Hockey League in '91-'82. Now, the following season, he became owner and coach of the Sunshine Hockey League's West Palm Beach Blaze. The Florida League at the time had a lot of uh, former NHLers that had helped out. And after guiding the club to three straight league championships, he sold his interest in the club due to failing health. And unfortunately, uh, in September 1995, Nairop was diagnosed with inoperable colon cancer, which had spread to his liver and lungs, and he died uh, much too young. Three months later, in his father's home in Minneapolis, at the age of 43. Now, Bill, uh, Bill's legacy as a as a stand-up guy and as a talented uh, player and individual would have benefited any NHL team over the last uh, quarter century. Uh, Nyrop's uh, passing was mourned by we in the media because we remember him as a very uh, sympathetic, a very uh, personable uh, gentleman. Uh, you know he. Uh, where Nairop really shone through, he was not scared to play in the American rinks on the road because, and one of the few Americans to uh, be on the uh, the Habs uh, uh, main lineup in those years. Now, uh, you got to look at his career, uh, success as a minor pro, success in college, uh, success as an administrator, an owner, a coach, uh, three cups, uh, any American... Like a Minneapolis uh, Hall of Fame, any American Hockey Hall of Fame would be more than happy to uh, recognize uh, Bill Nyrop's uh, uh, contributions. Um, you know, we all we always wondered uh, exactly why Montreal didn't worry about Bill Nyrop. I never heard Scotty Bowman or any of the coaching staff ever criticize Nyrop or even praise him. It's just that, just like uh, I give example. Uh, Steve, Steve Smith and Kevin Lowe with the with the Edmonton Oilers or uh, Harold Snaps with Vancouver. What you see with Nyrop or what he got, he wasn't uh, too high or too low. I never see him, uh, you know, rarely uh, lose his temper on the rink. If anything, he was, uh, you know, I don't remember him getting into a fight with anybody unless I'm losing my mind here. Again, stay-at-home defenseman, uh, tremendous uh, back end. Uh, tremendous uh, response and uh, you know when you play uh, three years in the NHL and each year you win the cup like what else like your first three years what else you have to prove I mean uh, you know but you got to understand the Montreal Canadiens had Pierre, Pierre Bouchard had Chatra had Robinson Lapointe Savard had John Van Boxmuir was traded Don Ordy was let go so he was the guy that uh, they needed as that and don't forget Ron Langway and Engel. Uh they were loaded with defensive talent back in the day and his leaving uh, made room for Langway in England, which is a different ball game altogether, because they uh, they really replaced Nyrop, uh, not say replaced him, but uh, augmented what uh, Nyrop used for Montreal on the defensive side. So again, 207 goal, 207 games, 63 points, uh, including 12 goals. Again, uh, a gentleman that's that's dearly missed uh, by us in the media and by the Habs fans, and you know. Uh, 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 his family too, as well. Uh, you know, to lose a, uh, you know, uh, a person that young, uh, you know, terrible tragedy. But the memories are there, and Bill Nybrop uh, has uh, utmost respect uh, for who he was and uh, what he did. So, on this uh, COVID Sunday, we wish everybody uh, a good weekend. Stay, stay safe, as we like to say up to the North Shore. Keep your stick on the ice because you never know when the ice will come back. Have a good day. Bye.